Hey, hey guys. Hey. hey. Hey, how's it going? Going great. How's it with you? I'm doing really great. I just can't wait to get in there, start clinicals, and see some patients. I hear you. You know, I actually really love learning about patient care and all. And you know, Mr. Flan, he knows what he's doing. Uh, but the guy's got some major issues. You mean that whole singing thing? Yes, thank you. What is up with that? I'm not sure, but I know that he's always saying that music helps healing, but he's taking it a little too far. Tell me about it. Uh, he's always talking about music therapy and how music is so therapeutic, but I just care about getting an A in this course and just going with the flow. And who knows, if this doesn't work out, maybe we can audition for American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, Mr. Flying. Well, good morning, students. And how are my little Florence Nightingales today? Are we ready to fill our heads with knowledge and go forth and heal and comfort the sick? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, today we're going to be doing an assessment on Mrs. Mays. Mrs. Mays is a COPD patient. Who can tell me something about COPD? Well. I know COPD patients have to use their accessory muscles, and that's why emphysema patients have a barrel chest. Excellent. Because of the way they present, emphysema patients are referred to as pink puffers, and chronic bronchitis patients are referred to as blue bloaters. Super. And most COPD cases are related to cigarette smoking, so it makes it a very preventable disease. Excellent. Well, I see we've all been keeping up with our ATI modules. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah ATI. Sure. I'm Yep. Well, uh, it's time for us to get going, kids. Uh, but remember, here in Mr. Flan's class, we use music to heal. And what is our motto? If you, if you can, can say it, it you can, can sing it. it. Okay, well, let's skedaddle. Uh, we don't want our patient to be waiting. She'll be fit to be tied if she is. Well, good morning, Mrs. Mays. And how are we doing this morning? Not good. I had to sit up all night. I could not breathe lying down. Oh, yes, yes. Class, what do we call that? Orthopnea. Well, Mrs. Mays, my class is going to be doing an assessment on you today. Is that OK? OK, I guess. Fantastic. OK, well, would you like to start it off, Ruby? Sure. Good morning, Mrs. Mays. How are you doing today? Hi. Great. I just need to check your ID. What's your date of birth? Um, uh, Ruben. What is our motto again? That's right. Thank you. Here we go again. Do you hear that? Who's playing music? Do you have shortness of breath? Smoke how many cigarettes? Any problems with your lungs? Do I see a barrel chest? Any discomfort or pain? Do you have coughing today? It seems your lips look okay. Respirations 28. Accessory muscle use anterior, posterior to transverse diameter. Check respiratory excursion. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. Your COPD is causing wheezing. Just breathe through your mouth. I'm oscillating to hear the sounds that your lungs are making. Hey, you're gonna need to ask physician's orders. The meds that they're on, five rights of your gun. Documentation with education. Inform your client, ensure compliance. Albuterol for your lungs, this med will help your wheezing. As needed, Q for eight palpitations, it might bring atrovent. You'll take it too, because your lungs sound like poop. COPD antidote, you may feel a sore throat. Palmer cord may cause depression, fatigue, headache, agitation, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, might occur while on recepin. I have a question about recepin. What is the point of? In this drug, what is it for? Do I have more physical problems? More than I'm told. That's a good question about the suffering. Your COPD might cause infection. Antibiotic, cephalosporin should help to prevent pneumonia. Before you came into my life, my brain was so bad. My brain was 
so bad. My breathing was so, so bad. Before you came into my life, your breathing was so bad. But now I feel glad. I feel real, real glad. Breath sounds like poo, take two. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah, just not as if you're actually saying words. Like, what the fuck? There you go. Hey! That's a good question. You should do that. Do you have short hips? Hey, how are you? Good. It's a rich day. <laughs> Okay, bye. I was talking about music therapy and how it's supposed to help the patient heal. <laughs> Is someone talking about me? Is someone talking about me? Who knows? If nursing doesn't work out for us, maybe we can apply for. Where can I? Where can I? Totally. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> Or a job at 7-Eleven, perhaps. Or if acting doesn't work out, we could go back to nursing. <laughs>